Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to share this video with you. Today we're going to be talking about why I gained weight, but I'm also going to show you my favorite weight training workout that you can just kind of like start at home. So if you're like, I don't really care about your transformation story, I'm just here for the workout, skip to here. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. about why I decided yeah. to gain about 25 to 30 pounds. Like, what? I know, people are like, why, why? Like, okay, so why would you wanna gain weight? So my transformation has been quite the journey. I've taken a journey. I have been curvy, I have been super, super skinny, I have been fit, and I have been fit in where I am now. I guess I'm fit, I don't know. but. What I want to talk to you guys about is what kind of my process and the journey I went on and why I decided that gaining weight was going to be the right decision for me. So I lost about 65 pounds after having my son. Um, so I got down to a very, very thin, about 110 pounds. Um, I'm five foot six, so I'm not like short. So um, I had no booty, no curves, I was like super, super thin, um, and I was doing like a ton of hit, high intensity interval training, um, and then I decided that I wanted booty, and I wanted gains, and if I wanted to get, you know, some gains here, I was going to have to eat more, and get myself into a surplus of calories, um, and I couldn't just do that with clean eating, and that wasn't going to give me the results that I was looking for. So I decided that I wanted to make gains, you know? So in that, that meant that I had to put myself in a caloric surplus. I had to eat more, more carbs and more protein. Um, so this is still hitting around 150 grams of protein a day, so more than my body weight, and then 250, 300 plus grams of carbs a day. So this surplus that I'm putting myself in allows my body to retain more muscle while still a little bit of fat, but you know what, that's like the juice. That's like the nice, wonderful part of the booty. So, um, and with that became strength gains and weight training more and lifting more. And that was the right decision for me. So I wanted to put up the screen, um, my first transformation. So, you know, my, my first was kind of like the normal fit mom thing. You know, I had the soft mommy tummy and I really just focused on um, indirect abdominal work, um, Pilates style workouts, hit cardio, and I ended up with this very lean frame, which there's nothing wrong with this body. I was really excited about the progress that I had seen, but as time went on, I really wanted to get some of those, um, I wanted that ass, let's just say that. So I really kind of switched my focus on to lifting more, and in that, I really kind of found that I could indulge a little bit more, splurge a little bit more if I was putting those calories to work. So here you'll see where I had put on, you know, 20, 30 pounds more, but what I don't want you to worry about, what I don't want you to focus on is the scale because the scale is only telling you one story because where I was at say 10 years ago, graduating from high school at 130 pounds is very different than the muscular frame that I have now. So the scale is really just this kind of like absurd way of measuring like your overall mass, but doesn't really tell you what's going on you know, inside, but what's on the inside really matters more. So happy with strength gains, I'm happy with muscle, you know, and I'm happy with being able to like be stronger and in that get some really like feminine curves out of it. So if you are going to tell me like, okay, I'm so worried about getting like manly, like I don't want to get too like muscular, like I just want to tone. Okay, muscle mass, lean muscle mass helps you burn more fat. So the more muscle that you have, the less overall fat that you have. So if you're looking to have that, those lean abs or have that lean frame, that lean toned looking frame, you have to gain muscle mass. So the decision for me to kind of 
not worry about being shredded, not worry about holding on to these like coveted abs that everybody's so worried about and focus on being strong, being healthy, throwing the aesthetic worries out the window and focusing on athletic. That is absolutely, absolutely when I, I feel like I started to love my body the most. My I feel like it started to respond in the way that I wanted to and I started to get those aesthetic results that I wanted so badly when all I was focused on before was how I looked instead of how hard I was working. And, and that, instead of looking at a fitness model and going, oh my God, I wish I, I looked like her, instead of focusing on how she looks, focus on how she works. Focus on how she eats and how she eats for her goals and fuels herself and eats a certain way and trains a certain way to get a certain result. That that to me was the biggest aha moment. That was the biggest like light bulb moment when I realized don't wish you looked like her, work like her. So for me, the biggest thing was I decided to stop being a slave to, to the scale, stop being a slave to the scale, stop worrying about how much I weighed and start working, pushing and challenging myself. When I started to challenge myself daily, that's when I started to see the biggest change. So if you want to actually see progress, make sure that you're training with your results at the forefront and, and not having them be all about abs and all about ass. Have it be, you know, about something more. It's so much more fun to like be like, dang, I couldn't do those push-ups. When I started this journey, I could not do a single push-up. And now I'm like busting out push-ups like a champ. So now that we've kind of gone over why I decided to gain weight and why weight training became the thing for me, you're like, oh my God, let's start weight training. I want to start weight training. I know girl, let's do it. Let's do it. So grab your dumbbells and I'm going to show you a few of my favorite weight training moves for booty, building your booty that you can do at home. So the, the best gift that you can give to yourself for Christmas would be a new set of dumbbells. How crazy is that? I know, get yourself a set of dumbbells, girl, and get yourself a booty for the new year. I'm telling you, grab a set of dumbbells that feels heavy, but you can still complete your reps. So I would say like a 15 pound set would be like the best place to start. So let's get into it. Right here, this is what you need to get fit. Simple 15 pound dumbbells. Are you ready? Is your booty ready? Let's do this. Let's get started with the warm up. You're going to do three rounds of this, starting with jumping jacks for 10 reps. Moving on, 10 high knees. Really focus on drawing your knees up into your chest for these 10 reps. After you repeat that three times, grab your weights and we're going to move on into the home weight circuit. First up, squat press. This move is great because you're targeting upper and lower body. You're going to do three sets of 10 of this. See how I take a slight pause at the bottom of the rep and then press and drive through with my hands. I'm going to give you another angle of this so you can see I'm pressing straight up in the air with my arms on every single rep, repeating this three sets of 10. Next up, three sets of 10 dumbbell deadlifts. So you'll notice I'm kind of running the dumbbells along my shins and then coming up squeezing my glutes at the top of every single rep and you're doing three sets of 10 of this. This can be done uh, with a barbell or can be done with the dumbbells. I really like this variation using the dumbbells. Um, I do this at the gym as well because I feel like I can really focus on engaging and drawing those glutes in. Um, so I love this move as an overall glute building move. For this next move, you'll only need one dumbbell. Um, you're going to do three sets of 10 sumo squats. So you'll hold the dumbbell at your chest, kind of like you would a goblet squat, but the foot positioning here is going to be knees turned out, kind of like a sumo stance. When you're working out from home, start to look at your environment in a new way. Look at things um, as you would at the gym and find equipment in your home that you can use in place of fancy gym equipment. So here I'm showing split squats using a garden chair. I'm doing three sets of 10 of these. So I'm gonna do the 10 reps on one leg and then switch legs and go back and repeat the circuit three times. To 
finish out this home leg day circuit, do 10 jump squats to really burn out that muscle group. After your workout, don't forget to stretch and cool down. Your stretching is as important as the rest of your workout. I hope you enjoyed that workout and all of my fit tips. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.